Good morning. And she party on the week. It's Friday. It's Friday. Thank God it is Friday. Thank God it is Friday. Good morning. Come on in. It's our day of favor. I want everybody to just type favor, 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 favor. Thank you, Jesus. Don't look for me on Facebook. I'm not going on Facebook. <laughs> and um, do anybody know if Android go on audio and Periscope? Because <laughs> I just put the phone down. I don't have uh, I don't know how to make this phone go on um audio on here. So that's why it looked a little different. But good morning. God bless you. Today is our day we're praying for favor with God and favor with man. So it's great. Only God could orchestrate this because God gave me the prayer point um, that he wanted us to pray in December and um, like the beginning of December. And I didn't know that the month that January was the month of favor. So when I noticed that today, I was like, oh, my God. So we are praying for our favor in the month of favor. And that was the message, too, that God gave me tonight, the word to release over the people. So we get a double portion. But let me just let you guys know that I um won't be doing a um prayer session tomorrow morning at 6 15. I won't be doing one of those, and of course, not Sunday. Um, I may come on in the afternoon a little bit later on Saturday and we'll do the prayer for tomorrow and even Sunday evening, but it won't be uh tomorrow morning. So don't look for me. <laughs> get up early and get in trouble with your prayers that day. Um, God is good. Let's keep my little girl in prayer. She wasn't, she's not feeling real well. She's very congested. So, um, I'll be tending to her. But today is the day of favor. Today is the day of favor. So we thank you, God, for your favor. If you didn't get your declarations, if you sold your first fruit of, of the year and you did not get your, um, the declarations for 2020 to 2030, make sure that you send me a, um, a, a, a shot, a pick, a screenshot of um, the seed that you sold to prophetic info at yahoo.com. And I want to give you a free copy of the book. Um, if you, uh, and it, this one will not be on Amazon. This one is just an e-copy that um, I did. I'm not, po- I'm not posting it on Amazon, maybe in a couple of months when I add more to it, but it's, it's a quick um, 159 confessions for you to do every day for the rest of the year, the rest of the decade to order your steps to bring in the glory to give you what God has promised you. Okay, so it's a book of just declarations and it's very quick. It don't even take you, it won't even take you four minutes to say them, but it's very important that we're saying things. So if you did not get your copy, your book yet, then go ahead on and um and you did so uh, a first fruit. That's something that the Lord laid on my heart for everybody that sold a first fruit um offering, then by all means send me a screenshot and it should say that because I know if if it wasn't for that um but I want you to have this copy. But it is on the website at prophetessvictoria.com. So we are. this is the month of favor. And today is the day that God wants us to cover prayers for favor. So it's just a double portion. I just believe that whatever you're going to do today, that God is going to be with you very closely, even more so. Because we have declared that word. And it's just like when things begin to line up and you see things in double digits, you know that there is a double portion blessing that is coming. So I just know that God is going to bless you today, that somebody is going to use their power. That's what favor is. Favor is someone using their power, their ability to bless you, to do something for you that you could not do for yourself. Favor is something that you don't deserve, but it's something that you get because somebody shows special care, special attraction, special attention to you. Yes, favor can be earned. Yes, you can do things. We already, we don't fight for the love of God. God loves us regardless of how we perform. That's just his nature to love us. But there are things that we can do in the world and the earth that will give us more, um, more favor. It'll give us the favor of God. There are things that we can do that will do that. And, um, Jesus, the Bible shows that says that Jesus had favor with God and man. And the favor came because Jesus was obedient to death. That's how he had favor. I believe that Esther had favor not only because she was a Jew. Esther was a peasant. Esther didn't have parents. Esther was um, raised by her uncle and she was elevated to the position of queen in Shushan. And so we 
see people, God raising up people, Joseph. Joseph was favored because of who his mother was. So there are certain things that we can do in the earth that we can do every single day that will give us favor. And so we pray, Father, right now that you will pour out your wisdom over our lives, God, in it for every thing that we have to do in the earth, that we would have wisdom to walk in favor like never before. We pray, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, that you will cover Living Faith International with your favor, God, that people will choose it over anything else, that you will raise it up, that it will be a beacon light in the community, a city set on the hill that shall not be hidden. We thank you, God, that you are raising us up to be a, a place of favor, a place of un, unmerited favor, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you that as we fast and pray, God, that you are breaking every every lie, every chain, every evil word ever spoken against us, our life, our business, our children, our family, our bloodline. We pray, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, that everything that is blocking the favor, it, the, that power will be nullified. The power of that thing that would be that's blocking the favor of God in our lives, that it would be scattered in the name of Jesus. As we pray right now, God, we just believe. And as we fast, that chains are being broken and everything that has hindered our favor in the last uh, in the last 10, 15, 20 years, that this this decade and this year will be the year of favor like never before, oh God. We just ask you for it. And you said, we ask anything, it shall be given. So we come to you, God, because we know that you hear our prayers. We know that when we come to you, you hear, not only do you hear, but you answer us. And we thank you, God, that you are just going to pour out your favor upon us. We ask you now, God, for favor with God and favor with you, Father, and favor with man in every single area. We thank you God that we want that same favor that David had that he was chosen above all his brothers the favor that David had to become king after serving uh, uh, as a shepherd's boy we pray God that you'll give us the type of favor that's taken us this year from that low place to that high place in the mighty name of Jesus that you'll pour favor upon our lives that's taken us from a place of being hidden to a place of being seen in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you God that you're pouring favor upon us that's taken us from a place of unknowing to being known in the name of Jesus favor for miracles, signs and wonders like never before. We just pray and ask for it, God, favor in our businesses for our businesses to be above and not behind, above and not beneath. In the name of Jesus, we just pray, God, and bombard heaven now for favor, the favor of God in our finances, in our health, in our in our in the way we look, the way we feel, God. We pray that you give us supernatural ability to have favor, to favor uh, everything, Lord God, that you favor and to walk in ways that will bring your favor upon our lives like never before. We thank you, God, that as we come together, you say, well, two or three are gathered, that you are God in the midst. So we know that you are here, that you are answering. And so we thank you that you are giving us favor, Lord God, to be more health conscious, favor to be more health conscious, that we are not behind, but we're ahead concerning uh, our health, God, that you will favor us in our health, that healing will be our portion, that we will be strengthened every day, that we walk in the power and might of the Father, of the Holy Spirit. We just pray for that supernatural favor, Lord God, in our bodies, that we will be able to do everything, travel where we have to travel, go where we have to go without being hindered, without being having physical pain. Just We just ask you for a favor and show us the steps, Lord. Order our steps that we will walk in this level of supernatural favor like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, even in the Bible, we see that Abraham, Lord God, he was he was called the father of many nations where it looked like in Abraham's life that nothing was happening, nothing was working. And then God, at here almost 100 years old, you blessed him and you gave him you gave him a child, God. We pray for that supernatural favor like that, that you had on Abraham to come upon our lives, God, that even when it looked like things are not working out, that the favor of God will overtake us and overpower us. Abraham, in his old age, he had, he became a very wealthy man, God. You gave him children. You gave him children, even still giving him children today. He became the father of faith. You blessed him. You blessed everywhere that he went. We pray for the same favor that Abraham had. We ask you to pour that favor over our children, over 
over our businesses, over our relationships, God. Give us supernatural favor, the same favor that Abraham had, that he is still being called the father of many nations. We pray for that type of favor, God. Favor for territory. You took him out of one land from his family and gave him new territory. As far as his eyes could see, God, we thank you that you are giving us that same level of favor for, for territory in the name of Jesus. We just pray, Father, and bombard heaven and thank you that you are sending your angels now to cause somebody to use their power, their ability, their anointing, their grace to favor us in every single area of our lives. And we thank you that you're doing it now, God. We thank you. We just, you say anything that we ask, it shall be given. So we're praying for favor. If, as far as the church, Lord God, we're praying for favor in finances, favor over every event, favor over every fundraiser. We're praying for favor over the equipment, favor over every area, favor over every building, every member, favor, God. We just pray for your favor like never before, favor to do great exploits, favor, Lord God, in the community to be a beacon light, a city set on the hill that shall not be hidden. We pray that you pour your favor out, favor in our fasting, God, that as we fast, that you are showing us supernaturally things that we can do to continue to walk in your favor on a greater level in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you that you are raising us up. You are raising us up, God, to walk in your divine favor, doing things that we could never do on our own. We pray, somebody say, type in ridiculous. We pray for ridiculous favor, God. We pray for ridiculous favor in everything that we touch in this year. When we declare things, let them be followed by favor. Let angels go and gather everything that, per that pertains to life and godliness that will give us more favor and increase in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, God, for your favor to fall on every single thing that we put our hands to, our business plans, our bank accounts, our billing statements, favor of God over our bills, favor in contracts, favor in every single area of our lives in the name of Jesus. We pray for ridiculous favor, favor that will blow our mind, favor that will blow the mind of people around us, the favor, the kind of favor, Lord God, that will cause people to just be in awe of all your goodness in our lives in the name of Jesus. We pray for a favor in every single area, favor for our children to make good grades, favor our children to, to get chosen over other people's children. Thank you, God, for that type of favor, not only today, but in this year and in this decade that you will exalt us above others. We will be favored with you and man. We call for favor like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the favor that other people will be blown away by, where people will say, surely the Lord is with this person. Surely the Lord is with Prophetess Victoria, where people will say, surely the Lord is with living faith, where, and put your name there, where people will say, surely the Lord is with Molly, surely the, surely the Lord is with that type of favor, God, favor that will astound our enemies, favor that will blind the enemies, favor that will let the enemies know that they will never win over your children. We pray for divine favor, divine intervention. We pray for your power, God, to touch every aspect of our lives, favor over our vision boards, that those that made vision boards, that they will come to pass in such a uh with, with the speed of the and divine acceleration that people will be blown away by it. Thank you for that blown away type of favor, that ridiculous favor over everything we put our hands to in our giving. Favor us in our giving, favor us in our living, favor us in our eating and drinking and fellowshipping, God. Favor, we just pray for favor like never before, God. Favor for ridiculous things, favor to be millionaires and billionaires, ridiculous things, favor, favor to be um uh, uh, hotel owners chain owners, favor to be franchise owners, Fra favor, God, like never before. We pray for ridiculous things, God. We ask you for your favor, what we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is what you did, and we couldn't do anything about it. It was just your doing, and it's marvelous in our eyes. We pray for that type of favor, God, supernatural favor that only got comes from God. We thank you, God, that even Jesus, when he got baptized, the heavens opened up, and 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 the Holy Spirit descended upon him. And God, you said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. We pray for those type of words to be written over our lives in the realms of the spirit. That if the enemy try to send an attack, they will see in the heavens, this is my daughter. This is my son. I'm well pleased with this one. Supernatural favor, God. The ridiculous favor. Favor that we can't, we can't work for. Favor, Lord God, that it is just, it will blow away.
way those that see it, that behold it. God, thank you. We thank you now that you are shifting something. You are taking us from a low place to a high place. The same favor that Joseph had. The Bible says that Joseph was favored by his father. His father gave him a special coat and it caused others to be jealous. So we thank you, God, that when you pour out this ridiculous favor upon our lives, that we block every jealous spirit, every spirit of war, every spirit of hate. We block it now by fire because we know that the favor of God is coming. It's coming and it's coming. It's, fa it's coming fast. We thank you, God. We thank you for that supernatural favor, the favor like Joseph had, that even when he was sold into slavery, God, you still lifted him up and he became the prime minister. We thank you that you are taking us to positions in your glory that only you can promote us to. And we block every hindering spirit, every destiny, robbing spirit. We block, block it and nullify its power. Nothing will limit us. We just command the limits to be taken off in the name of Jesus. Let every limit be taken off, God, in the name of Jesus. And our favor will just blow away the minds of those that can see it, hear it, perceive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we thank you now. And I just call it done. I know that you're doing it. I know that you're doing it as this is the month of favor. Blow our mind with what you're doing right now. You've already done enough. But we thank you that we just, you have declared that this is the month of favor and we will see favor like never before. We will see favor, favor, favor in every area, favor in every area like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a double portion weekend because I'm preaching on favor Sunday. So God, we just thank you that you are doing something supernatural. You are, we are lined up in your, in the middle of your will. And you are blessing us like never before, blessing our children, blessing our relationships, blessing our bank accounts, saving accounts. You're blessing everything, Lord God, concerning us, blessing us with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, blessing us with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, pouring out your spirit upon us, giving us more knowledge, more insight, more understanding, filling the church with so much prophecy that comes to pass that it will blow the mind of those that come to it in the name of Jesus. Thank you that you are favoring us to be the biggest and best prophetic church that people have seen, Lord God. We thank you that you are you are raising us up. You are filling us with your spirit. We receive everything that you have for us, God. Everything pertaining to life and godliness, we receive it today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you that you are with us and we lose angels to go and gather everything, Lord God, that will bring us favor. And we receive it. We will not miss it. We hear you, God, in the voice of a stranger we will not hear. We thank you, Lord, that the favor of God is following us even as we fast. Chains are being broken. Generational curses are being broken. Wrong mindsets are being removed. And all we will see is the favor of God like never before in the name of Jesus. Broke or show favor. When we go to the doctor, they're going to say one thing and it's going to turn around and be something else because the favor of God will hit doctor's reports. Favor of God will hit report cards. The favor of God will hit financial statements in the name of Jesus. Favor of God will hit business plans, real estate acquisitions. Hallelujah. Favor of God. God said, I'm, ex I'm elevating you and filling you with my beauty, the beauty of holiness. Favor of God because we're living righteous. We're living good. We're looking good. We thank you, God, that your favor will even cause us to be even more beautiful to our enemies and our peers in Jesus' mighty name. Favor for good look. Somebody just needs to say that. I'm already looking good, but the world can't see. God say, I'm about to take the veil off. I'm about to take the veil off and show them who I have created you to be, says the spirit of the living God. I'm taking the veil off. You have been hidden, but you will be a city set on the hill that shall not be hidden. I'm raising you up, says the spirit of the living God, to be a beacon light for people to come and behold your beauty. The presence of the Lord is with living faith and I will go before you. I will be behind you and I will be with you. Everything that you need, I will supply. The favor of God is upon this place. We thank you, God, that we magnify you, we glorify you, we lift you up. If we had 10,000 tongues, it wouldn't be enough to give you praise. Thank you, Lord God, that let our mouth be the as the pen of a ready writer, that everything that come out of our mouth, Lord God, it will be it will be music to your ears. Let us praise you and worship you more like never before. Thank you, God. Even, even the favor, God says, that I'm going to give you. The favor is for more worship, for more praise. 
never cease to give me glory. Never cease to give me glory. Never cease to give me glory, says the spirit of the living God. Remember that word, never cease to give me glory. Never cease to give me glory. Always be giving God praise. Give him, give, give him praise when you want to and when you don't want to. Because sometimes whenever you're going through a low place, God is really trying to test you. He's testing. He won't tempt you. But he will test you to see if that word that he gave you, if you believe it. So we thank you, God, that you are changing our mind and our heart because the favor of God is all over us. And we bless you. We thank you. I call it done. Bless you in your fasting today. Use wisdom. Use, dis <laughs> use discernment. And God is with you in everything you do. You shall not fail. I'll be back tonight around 8 for our Friday Night Live. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.